I can tell you first of all what Christmas future is going to be like for each one of us if we are in the Lord Jesus Christ. Christmas future is going to be wonderful because it's going to be in heaven and we're going to be with him forever. It's going to be great. But in, in this group uh, this morning, some of us have come from Christian backgrounds. Some of us have come from totally non-religious background, backgrounds when Christmas meant nothing else than any other day. Um, or it was just a day of celebration along with everybody else. Or some of us uh, come from a re religious backgrounds where we had religious activities, but we didn't necessarily have life, uh, life in Jesus. And so we all have these memories or not as we think about Christmas. And we've asked some people uh, to come and share their Christmas memories. Um, if we asked all of you, I'm sure everybody would have a Christmas memory. Some of you have great Christmas memories. Some of you have terrible Christmas memories. But for all of us, because of Jesus, we, have good, we, we now have a good Christmas present. So I've asked some people to come up. Uh, just so you know, I'm going to be the slave driver. At two minutes, I'm going to start waving my hand because we're going to be watching the time. And I've asked, uh, first of all, so if you're one of the people, get ready to come forward quickly so we'll save time. First is going to be Bridget, and then second is going to be Sebastian. Okay? So, Miss Bridget, here you go. Okay, a memory of Christmas is um, going to bed very early as a child on Christmas Eve, and waking up at 11 in the evening and then getting ready and going to Mass. <laughs> and we'd celebrate Christmas. At an older age, I would be in the choir, singing all the Christmas choir. And after that, we would drive to my grandparents' house and we'd have a big meal with the uncles and aunts and grandparents in the middle of the night and gifts gift giving and it was a great joy it was tiring for my parents but for a child it was it's a good memory and the second question is it what christmas is for us as i grew up uh, i didn't read the bible but i knew jesus had come and was born in a and laid in a manger i heard a little bit about the shepherds and all that i didn't know so much but in my memory, Christmas has always been with a spirit of joy. And the angel said, I bring you a good news that will bring great joy. And when you don't know the Lord, I, the whole, not the whole world, but many, many people, there is this joy coming out of Christmas. They don't know why. But as when you're a Christian, you know why. It's a great joy. Okay, thank you. Uh, I think the beginning is the same. Uh, like going to church at the eve, uh, in the evening and coming back late. But something I can uh, remember is how when we were a child, we used to celebrate it uh, out of the family. So we make some small houses with uh, branches or uh, palm leaves so we I mean around the ho our, our, our home outside. outside yes outside the home and we will jo uh, join together with friends uh, and celebrate it with singing dancing and sometimes our parents will, may surprise us coming in uh, into our small houses and <laughs> yeah we make it uh, like homes so we have some beds and uh, sitting beds, yeah. Uh, and s something else is, for me, when I was not yet Christian, it was just a celebration, going to church, uh, singing and uh, sharing food. Because we, uh, at, the day, at the day of Christmas, we share food with neighbors and most of the time with Muslims, those who are not Christians. And I remember we were very excited to take the food to, to people because of 
uh, sometimes they, they will give us some <laughs> some gifts yes and uh, something that was not great is one time we make our staff and the the day of christmas when we woke up uh, somebody came and destroyed everything so that year was not a good christmas for us so uh yes i was not i didn't know what is the what was the meaning of the of christmas but becoming a christian i think is uh, a sign of love uh, god coming himself to save us so uh yes that is how i celebrate it uh, by sharing god's love and telling people uh, we have must uh, take this gift is a gift but without taking it like being the letting this gift be our own i think we we we, we left many things we cannot uh yes we cannot be what god wants us to be or uh we cannot understand the real meaning of the the christmas yeah thank you You're not Sorry. a speaker, are you? No, I'm not. <laughs> okay. you, put it, you put it down too low? Hang on, right there. Um, I wanted Winland to, because when I asked them upstairs last week, Winland immediately had a joyful memory. She said, yes, I will do it. So, <laughs> okay, Winland. <laughs> so, since I'm not ready, so I wrote it down. I could go, yeah. So, first of all, I just want to thank you, Pastor Jennifer, because for this opportunity, opportunity when she asked last Sunday if he is willing to share the memories last Christmas and how we celebrate um, Christmas, birthday of Christmas, I mean, how we celebrate the Christmas with family. And I didn't hesitate to volunteer, of course, because I am excited to share how we celebrate the birthday of Jesus Christ. And we all know that God sent His only begotten Son to save us from sin. So in return, we celebrate the birthday of Jesus. As I remember when I was a child, we do have a presentation at church. And even up to now that I have children, they still celebrate Christmas by having this presentation. I was, And even though I wasn't there to witness the celebration, but I am happy that my daughters are part of it. And in preparation, the two student pastors together with the church members or the or some youth who are going to help to organize and teach the children for their presentation during the Christmas Eve. And they do that the presentation for two months before the Christmas. Because, yeah, yeah. because more than 20 children to be teach and consists of the 12 songs we dance. And so it's long preparation. And they're going to select few children for a role play. And then they're gonna ha they have a script, so they need to memorize it. So 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 much fun and amazing talents for the children and you will surely be enjoyed and be missed Chris every christmas that i wasn't there and lastly is the uh, sermon of our senior pastor and for the christmas eve service with um children presentation will be held that december 24 and we're gonna start that 8 p.m onwards yes each family will gonna bring snacks for everyone to share and celebrate the birthday of Jesus at church. And to enjoy the spirit of sharing, each family will gonna bring the two gifts. And we're gonna have that raffle for everybody. Yes, and when and when the activity at church is done, it's already 12 o'clock, so we're gonna it's time to go home and then celebrate with the family. And after four years that I wasn't there to witness and worship the presentation of my children. I am happy that last year, it was coincidence that my vacation is December, so I was able to watch their presentation. And most of all, we celebrate the birthday of Jesus, that complete family, and I was able to worship him with the whole family, with my whole family. And that was my best Christmas last year. And before I end this, I just want to share this verse that I have read and let me realize that God is truly amazing. Luke chapter 2 verse 17 to 20. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what been 
told them about this child and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up and all these things and pondered them. In her heart, the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. So the good news on this verse is put your trust in Jesus and in God. Even though it means believing in someone whom you haven't seen or met, it's all about our faith. Yeah. As you know, you know, um, in Cambodia, when I was young, because I, I have, I define myself as a three stage in my life. One in Cambodia, the other one in France, the third one as a Christian. <clears throat> so when I was in Cambodia, uh, we, I didn't know Christmas. I don't know what Christmas name is. <laughs> but what uh, one time I did remember, is that when I was young, with a, a friend, very young, you know, we used to run around, and then uh, our parents don't look after us because they look after the business. <laughs> so, uh, with a friend, we passed uh, in front of the church, uh, a kind of cathedral church, I don't know what church it was, and then we saw somebody sitting at the middle of the church, and then my friend said, run quick! Run quick because uh, he may send uh, a knife and the knife just follow us and uh, kill us. <laughs> and then I was so frightened. I run, 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 run. And after that, I never, ever go to that place again. <laughs> so that was, uh, that was, you know, uh, bad memory. <laughs> So the, the good, uh, so the first Christmas that I spent was in France with my foster family, who are my adopted family. Um, and um, the first Christmas I got, okay, we had our dinner and so on. No turkey, sorry. The American influence come always 10 years later. <laughs> but we got, you know, good food anyway. <laughs> And, and then uh, our children, we went to bed and, you know, the auntie and so on, they went to midnight uh, mass and so on. And uh, the next day, it was so exciting because uh, we, ha we had to get up, they say, there was something uh, under the, the Christmas tree, Le Sapin, you know Sapin Noel? Yeah. And uh, so I went there. Oh, I got a very, very big uh, present. And I opened inside was a train, Lego train with uh, a rail and so on. So I hurry up to build it up. Oh, I was so happy. There. It's not a battery, by the way. So um, after that, I just play around with it in my room uh, for several months. And then the battery keep on running out. <laughs> so I end up to open the motor. And I couldn't put it back, and then it's never worked with motor. I have to, I have to <laughs> push it with my hand. So uh, that is the first thing I learned to be handyman to destroy stuff. Okay, <laughs> that was uh, the present of my new. And uh, as a Christian, uh, one pastor Jennifer sent me a mail yesterday. Um, my first reaction was, oh. This week I, I, I read Ruth. Boaz was Ruth's redeemer. But Ruth, the situation of Ruth, uh, is was at the lowest, at the bottom, she was gleaning. Almost, you know. And as a Christian we are, I thought myself, yes, uh, we were saved because we, we were like Ruth. And now, as a Christian, uh, Jesus still be our redeemer because we are not worth, we still, even as a Christian, we are still a uh, sinner, bad person, yes. So uh, Jesus is our savior, our shepherd, and Jesus is, 
if I reflect more, because we tend to be, I tend to take it for granted uh, as I become slightly mature Christian and I forget that uh, that really we, I'm a sinner, I'm still the worst sinner as a Christian and um, Jesus should be the center of my life really. That's it. Amen. Good morning, everybody. In Germany, we celebrate Christmas on the 24th. That's a very important day. Uh, we get presents and things like that. Very early on, I can't remember uh, about Christmas. It was wartime or after wartime, and my father was coming back and sick for two years in bed, so obviously we didn't really celebrate Christmas, so I really can't remember. When it was, uh, when he was getting better, um, my father took us on the 24th to the market, and we had to choose a Christmas tree. Now, because in Germany in those days, Christmas trees had real candles, so we had to have a Christmas tree really this, uh, this way, and it was sometimes difficult to find a good Christmas tree because of the branches they had to, because you put the candles at the end so it wouldn't burn. Um, it gives a very beautiful atmosphere and so we enjoyed Christmas. My parents were nominal Christians. They went to church, maybe my father never went. Um, he told us a reason. Uh, but um, my mother and we, my brother and I, we went for Christmas and Easter, and for some reason, I simply loved going to church. So once in a while, I dared to go to church on my own. And from there, I must have learned uh, what Christianity is all about, uh, because um, you have to learn. I didn't accept, but I heard. And when I w walked into this church, I remember um, there was on the altar, there was um, a cloth and it says, I am the way, the truth and the life. And that really somehow got me. I, I thought about it, what does it mean? But I never dared to ask. So anyway, Christmas was uh, dead, stayed home. Um, in the morning, uh, we went, as I said, to the market. Mum did a bit of lunch. And uh, so we brought that nice Christmas tree home. I don't even know how, because can't remember how, because we didn't have a car. And um, so in the afternoon, we would go to church. There was church service from 3 to 6 o'clock. So we would go at about either 5 or 6 o'clock wonderful service, kids were playing the, the Christmas um, story and oh, I felt very happy there. I, I really enjoyed it. And so when we came uh, home, it was Dad who had um, done the Christmas tree up and put the presents underneath. And I'm sure he read some, whether the, it was the Bible or not, I don't know. Uh, but it was always something very nice. We sang a few songs, and there was music always at the background, and then we were able to open our presents. And because my father was an avid book reader, uh, he introduced me to books. And so uh, we had, um, I always got books. So we never ate on the 24th because Mom had baked so many cookies, there are 12 to 20 different kinds. And under the tree is a big plate also for each one. So <laughs> I took my book, when I, when I finished everything, um, I took my book, I sat on the sofa in the corner, and I was lost to the world, and then we ate. We just ate the biscuits, we were so full we didn't even want to have any dinner anymore. <laughs> So um, the next day would be a meal, 
and in Germany it was goose at the time. And when my, we lived close to my grandparents, grandparents came to, to celebrate with us. Being a Christian, I still enjoy it very much, um, but it has taken a different meaning. There is more joy. I know who Jesus is, and you never finish learning about him. That, that's the, the amazing thing. But I feel like um, I know what Christmas is all about, and I know what Jesus has done for me. And I'm forever great and thankful. I say that all the time. The more thankful you are, the more you see every day what Jesus is doing for us. You are more thankful because you see even the little things. And so for me, uh, being a Christian, Christmas is joy, is love, is, is knowing that you are being loved by someone and you know where you are going. That is very, very important. Thank you. Good morning. So I, I just want to share with you how we celebrate Christmas with my family. So as uh, I came from a Catholic background, devoted Catholic background, and so in the Philippines we started, um, we started in the month of Burr. As we know, we start collecting and preparing Christmas decoration from the month of September. And we collect because we don't have money to buy like a Christmas tree and the shopping mall. So we just uh, collect indigenous materials for our um, Christmas tree. So because we can't afford to buy then, so we use the midrib of the co coconut leaf, you know that one in the Philippines, and covered with crepe paper instead. So you ha we have to put a decoration, uh, dec decorate it with a uh, crepe paper. And then for the vase, we use a big can with sand inside and wrapped it with tinsel paper. So, and there we just planted all those decorated midrib to make a Christmas tree. So that's how we make our Christmas tree. So for the decorations, we, Instead of Christmas balls, we use like a lollipops and candies, tie it with a thread and then hang it on our Christmas tree. So, yes, and for the Christmas light, we used to, um, we use the food coloring that has been dissolved in the water, fill the ice candy, uh, ice candy plastic wrapper, and then we have to uh, tie it with, um, tie it with um, thread as well, and then we have to hang it uh, on our front yard in all the, the, in the plants outside our, our house. So, yeah, so that's how we decorate our house. So, every December 24, as I remember, my mom go to the town and buy one loaf of sliced bread. Just only that, a star margarine. Filipino also, Filipino knows this very well. Star margarine. <laughs> Maybe that's why I'm because of star margarine. And then, and then just a liter of Coke so we can have something on our table during Christmas Eve. Yeah, so that's all we have every Christmas. I remember every Christmas we have just just that and we enjoy what we have on our table as we eat together so we are eight siblings and we have to share that we celebrate like everyone did but when i became a born christian and personally experienced god in my life that's when christmas became more special and more meaningful to me so when i look back it brought me to the realization that we celebrate Christmas, but there's something that is missing, and that is the full understanding of the true meaning of Christmas. Why we celebrate, why we celebrate Christmas, and who is the center of this season? It's not all about, it's not all about uh, the food that we have on the table. It's not, not all about the gift that we have received, but it's all about the gift that we have received from our Heavenly Father, that is Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. And that is not only for me, that is not only for those who are good, but it is for everyone who is willing to receive that gift. And for me, that is the 
uh, that is the very special gift that I ever received in my life. That is the Savior, Jesus Christ. And it's not because that we are good, but because our Heavenly Father loved us that much. Thank you. Amen. Well, I learned something this morning, didn't you? Um, Christmas is different all around the world. But I think we heard six mini sermons today, didn't we? I, I, I promise you, I didn't coach anyone. I didn't say, now say this. All I said was, give us a memory uh, of Christmas from your childhood, and then tell us what Christian, Christmas means to you now as a, as a Christian. So it's been so encouraging. Um, we heard really interesting things, funny things from each one of these people. Maybe we'll do this again next year, right? Really a blessing. Um, we're going to ask now the uh, uh, choir and the guitars. If you'll come forward, please. They're going to